I think there's, there's been a few um, throughout my life. When I first came to Christ, there was that ultimate moment. Um, you know, there's been instances where life struggles have caused me to walk closer to God. And, and I think at that time, he's always been kind of a pocket God. You know, I take him out when I need him and then put him back when everything's going okay. Um, I think the biggest instance was um, I was uh, riding my bicycle down here and um, was not really, you know, where I needed to be with the Lord. And um, I was pushed into a tree by a uh, car and uh, was seriously hurt and um, just was realizing, asking the woe is me, why me God, why are you doing this to me? Realizing that it wasn't him, that at that particular point in time, it was him getting my attention. And I finally came to that aha moment where I um, realized that he can't be my pocket God anymore. I can't take him out when times are tough and then put him back when things go well. So uh, I think at that point it created in me a fire and a hunger to really get to know him more and to realize that uh, in that instance, I could have died, um, and I didn't, but um, I finally came to that moment where His grace and mercy was real for me. For me, I think um, dabbling in it and conforming to situations where if I was with Christians, um, I would be that, that guy, that Christian. If I was with people in the world, then I could adapt to that, I, you know. Um, and my backstory is, is that, um, you know, things that I've shared with you and, and with the men's group, um, mainly the, the fact that I, I wasn't real all the time. Um, you know, I was, a, I was a Peter, you know, we've talked about that where I would get angry and I would get uh, upset and I would cuss and I would, you know, drink or whatever it was that was causing me to um, not live that life where I needed to really um, fulfill what God had as far as his plan was for me. Um, and so um, I talk a lot about all the things that I did, um, whether it be, you know, um, the lies, the, the cheating, the adultery, whatever it was that I did, that's what I did. and that's not who I am and I finally came to that realization um, that the the enemy will will speak to you in ways and in even with me was he would constantly bring down the condemnation about the things that I did and and the realization for me was um, like Peter when when God changed his name and he became the rock and um, with uh, Gideon when he was hiding in the cave he was called a mighty warrior a mighty man of valor and it's like God called those men to what they were going to be and with me it's a, it was the same way it was not dwelling in the past and listening to that voice from Satan saying this is what you did this is who you are because he was constantly reminding me of, of the man that I was and God in that walk was telling me who I was going to become. Well, early on, no, it, it was a process. Um, you know, growing up in the family that I grew up in, the, the common condemnation and not good enough and the verbal and physical abuse, that was constantly my picture of, of what my heavenly father was. I couldn't get around that because I, my experience with my earthly father is uh, this is what it is. But through the word and through growing and, and reading and surrounding myself with men like you and, and impact and, and pastors that I've had in the past, they were to give they were able to give me that that sense of what a heavenly father really is like. And so um, I was able to come back to that and realize that his grace is 
and his mercies are new every morning. I didn't realize that early on, but through the process, I was able to recognize that and understand that, that it's new every day. So I, I guess it's, it wasn't like a light switch that just went off. It was a process. And so knowing the truth and reading the truth and constantly getting into the word and the truth, that's where that process kind of clicked for me, you know, at least through his Holy Spirit, just telling me that um, you are forgiven. Um, you're not a piece of trash. You're not garbage. You're not, you know, whatever Satan's title is that he wants to put on me, that's not who I am. Um, to realize that it's, it's daily. It, it, you're not going to fix the things in a, in a process, although I do believe that the Lord can do miracles in anybody's life instantaneously. I got myself into trouble or how many years that I've been doing it, so God's going to take a little bit of time to get me out of it, and He has. Um, he's making Himself real to me um, daily. There's some um, wounds that need to be healed. Um, there's some things um, that I'm doing to do that with my children, with um, friends and family. Um, but honesty has prevailed. Um, I had an instance where somebody um, was going to tell me all the things um, that I had done wrong. And I mentioned, I said, you know what? You're not going to tell me anything that I don't know already know about myself. And uh, so I was able to realize that, yes, this is what I did, but that's not who I am. And through the, the process of my walk with the Lord has caused me to realize that it's not just me. I can't be the Holy Spirit for other people, but I can be a light and I can show people through my walk that I am a different person. Impact, you and, and the guys have been, uh, you know, that that iron that sharpens iron that um, you know I know that no matter what situation I'm going through I can talk to you guys I can share I can be open I can be clear on uh, all the things that I'm struggling with there's no judgment there's just love there's um, um, you know I call it Jesus with skin on you know you guys are Jesus with skin on and uh, I just I truly covet my relationship with you guys and with impact it's it's been a uh, change for me I'm Michael this is my story and I'm a man passionate about Christ <laughs>